see a pineapple followed by a cat, followed by a laptop, followed by a piece of cake. Pineapple, cat, laptop, cake. Pineapple, cat. Now stop. How do you know you'll say it? laptop? Let's. Your brain doesn't passively receive information from the environment, but it tries to predict what comes next according to its prior experience. The information you receive is processed by a network of brain regions, which includes your higher order area, your frontal cortex, and a sensory cortex, let's say your visual cortex. Before you see the image of the laptop, your frontal cortex sends a prediction to the visual cortex. In the visual cortex, the prediction and the reality is compared. When the prediction doesn't match the reality, a brain region called your anterior cingulate cortex signals a prediction error, which sends a learning signal to the brain. It is important and crucial for survival and learning as it indicates that the current model of the world is incorrect and needs updating like this. This process can be seen by scientists with a method called the electroencephalography. Right after the error, we see a wave which is called the error-related negativity. But we have a similar wave. When you do not notice the mistake yourself and somebody tells you, for example, when you mispronounce a word, word. Okay, we see a feedback-related negativity. Both are produced in the anterior cingulate cortex. And after this we have a follow-up wave. This particular wave is called the error positivity and it represents the learning and adapting. During learning, errors loop through the brain and that is how we learn from our mistakes. All this is how predictive coding theory works and I hope I inspired you to learn more about it. Thank you.